Today, we're going to talk about self-publishing. In the last year, I've written and published two comic books, and I'm almost done with my third. And a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments how I self-publish my books, and so I'm just going to give you all the information you can. So if you want to self-publish, you can too. First things first, before you even go down that path, you need to make sure that you have a manuscript that's basically finished. It doesn't have to be 100% edited, but you kind of need to know your basic page count and how much you want to sell it for. You are going to need to buy an ISBN number and a barcode. And technically both of these are optional, but really you should be getting them. The ISBN number is that nine or 13 digit number on a book that identifies the book name, title, all the other kind of stuff to booksellers. The barcode is the ISBN in a format that can be read by scanners. This little buddy, I mean, everybody knows what a barcode is. As soon as you buy them, you can associate them together and they'll have a walkthrough for that. So don't even worry about it. So you buy both of these at www.myidentifiers.com. A barcode is $25 and ISBN, you can buy them in packs. You can buy one, 10, a hundred or a thousand. Honestly, I would advise buying 10 because if you need to change up the manuscript, the page number, all that other kind of stuff, or if you decide to publish another book, it's always nice to have those other ones going on. For one ISBN number, it's $125. 10 is 250. 100 is, I don't know, because you probably won't need it. And a thousand is also, I don't know, because you probably won't need it. ISBN numbers are expensive. <sighs> I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because they control the market and they can do that if they want. So once you have your barcode and your ISBN, you're going to hop over to CreateSpace, which is a print-on-demand company run by Amazon.com. Print-on-demand basically means you create this book and then when somebody buys it on Amazon, the book is printed and shipped to them so you never have to touch the stock, which I absolutely love because I'm in Japan and most of the people who buy my books are not in Japan and shipping is friggishly expensive. CreateSpace only charges you what it costs to print and so for a lot of my books it's between $250 and $350 print each copy of the book and you can buy as little as one copy or 10 copies or 100 copies. You kind of just start setting up on CreateSpace but you're going to finish that later. The next step is you are going to either need to buy or design a cover uh, and this isn't permanent. You can always go back and change it later. This was the first book that I ever did and really I designed this on MS Paint which I'm kind of not proud of. This is me as my husband as our imaginary pet rabbit and some other stuff back there. This was the only design I did just because I was in a hurry. This one, my second book, um, I think this was the third design I did and each time when I changed the cover design I just kind of updated it. Uh, CreateSpace lets you download a template that's really easy to use so you can get the cover, the spine, and the back without any problems. And you can change the cover whenever you want even after the book is being printed so it's it's not like it's a, it's a final thing. You just want to get something up there because finished is better than perfect. So you can pay CreateSpace to design a cover for you and I have a couple friends that have done that. You can also pay a third-party designer or you can just buy some art online and turn it into a cover as well. Whatever floats your boat. Step five is setting up pre-orders on Amazon Advantage and this of course is completely optional. You don't have to do it and a lot of people don't do it. Um, you can create an account on Amazon Advantage. You upload the title, price, cover art, description, ISBN, and then three to five business days later, your book is selling pre-orders on amazon.com. Um, this is before the book even exists. You don't have to upload an interior file or anything like that. Setting up your first account on Amazon Advantage can be a bit confusing and they don't really have a walkthrough for that, um, but just keep at it. If you want to pre-order digital copies, you would go over to uh, Amazon Kindle. So now you got the pre-orders up. Your next mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go to Amazon Author and set up an Amazon Author account, which there's just, there's so many accounts that you have to do and it's really confusing for your first book, but it gets easier because you just get to add later on. You go to Amazon Author Central, you upload a cover photo, you can link your Twitter, your Facebook. I linked my blog in there so all my new blog posts show up and it'll list everything you've written or contributed to and it's, it's really useful. I love it. Seven, hopefully while you've been struggling with all of this and hating your computer and hating yourself, you have finished the editing phase for your book. Once you get that finished, you can order a proof on CreateSpace. And so the proof, you unfortunately, you don't get it for free. It costs the same amount for printing and then shipping. And since I live in Japan, shipping is so expensive and it takes so long. I recommend ordering three copies of your book just because sometimes the title is a little funky and you need to make sure that everything looks good. And so um, the proof copy will have like a big proof thing written in the back. I, ha I don't have any of my proof copies anymore. I sold those all to people and Apparently people wanted to buy proofs. I don't know why. And so you just get to kind of flip through and be like, okay, uh, oh shoot, that doesn't look right. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, this looks perfect. And if you like your proof, you hit 
approved proof and then the books will start selling right away on Amazon. Anyone who pre-ordered will get their copy. Uh, if you don't like it, then you can go back, edit some stuff and order another proof. Uh, you can also look at a digital proof online um, if you're like me and you live in the middle of nowhere. Step eight is you're gonna order copies of your book so that you can sell them. Create Space, unlike a lot of other print on demand places, doesn't give you a discount if you order more, but I am remarkably okay with that because their cost per book is a lot cheaper than the other ones I looked at and it looked like it would only get cheaper if I ordered more than 500 books from a different website. And my house is not huge. I don't really want to keep 500. I have two books now coming a third. I don't want to keep 1,500 books sitting around. Like books are heavy. So I usually keep about 100 to 200 of my books here. Uh, and then the rest, it's all print on demand, sold on Amazon. So uh, the majority of the people who buy my book, I actually don't ever even touch the stock, which is really useful. I'm just making money while I sleep. Woohoo! And then step nine, last step, is you are going to sell your book which can be really awkward. Um, I'm not a salesman, I do not enjoy selling, and I feel really awkward asking people to buy my books. Um, so I usually don't. I just include something in the bottom of my blog and something at the end of my YouTube videos, and that so far has been selling enough. If you're using CreateSpace, you can sell on Amazon print on demand. So for instance, um, my book costs $14.50 to buy. Amazon lists it usually at 11. When somebody buys the book, uh, Amazon keeps five to 10%. Uh, create space keeps what it costs to print the book and I get everything else. So hopefully you found this video interesting um, And if you want to self-publish Good luck. I absolutely love it wouldn't change it for the world uh, And I really enjoy being able to choose everything your first book is always gonna be really hard and it's gonna freak you out and and So many things are gonna go wrong and so many things continue to go wrong with every single book But you kind of just learn to roll with it. If you have any questions about self-publishing or things like that Just leave them in the comment section and hopefully I will get back to that. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, buy my books. Bye!